Hey, what's up guys? Today's video is a editing tutorial, a video editing tutorial that's gonna save you hours and hours and hours and hours. And this is the start of AI being integrated with my editing software. I'm very excited. Adobe's speech to text functionality is great for saving time creating captions, but nobody is talking about the other way to use auto transcriptions to speed up your workflow 10x when doing things like creating this montage of every time they said the word incredible at Apple's latest event. Incredible, 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 incredible. Usually to find all those inside an hour and 20 minute long video, you'd have to watch the whole clip. It would take you an hour and 20 minutes, but I was able to build that sequence in five minutes using auto transcriptions. Incredible. And I'm gonna show you how. I should probably make more videos like this and post them on Skillshare. It'd probably make way more money, but instead today's video is just sponsored by Skillshare. They're giving away a sick deal for my subscribers. More on that in a bit. First, let me run through the core functionality on how to create captions. Then I'll go into a few problems I encountered and how to get around them. Then I'll show you how to integrate auto transcriptions into your workflow for search and save tons of time and I'll wrap things up with a couple of feature requests and where I think Adobe is going in the future with this new tech. All right, so we're here inside Premiere Pro. I've got Apple's most recent event from September 14th, 2021. And so I'd like to transcribe this whole thing. Uh, now Adobe, their official video about auto transcriptions shows it being done as the last thing in your edit. When your edit is ready, create the transcription. So if you're using it just to create captions, yeah, that's how you do it. But I'm gonna show you why it's super powerful to do it at the beginning of your edit to save you tons of time. But first, let me just go through the functionality of auto transcriptions. I just wanna go up to sequence and go auto transcribe sequence. I have the text window and you can also just click transcribe sequence right in there and it has a bunch of options for you. So all you really have to do is press transcribe and it starts exporting your audio. Once it's done rendering it, it sends it to Adobe's cloud. The transcription happens there and then they send it back to you. I can actually go to different sequences and I can make edits and, and work while it's doing that. All right, so that took about 30 minutes. It doesn't always take 30 minutes. I did this little intro, it's a minute and 12 seconds. Transcript came back in about 30 seconds. So it just depends on how long your clip is. So now Apple presentation is transcribed. When you jump through the timeline, it shows you what word you're on. And we can create captions from this just by pressing create captions brings up all your settings, different types of subtitle. You can add styles. I've created one called Arial One. Oops, black text. So I'm just gonna change the fill to white. And now this button here says push to track or style. And now all the captions have changed to white. You still kind of have to watch the entire thing and make sure there weren't any glaring errors, you know, misspelled words. So there's a search and replace function in case they spelled Brian with an I, but you know he spells it with a Y. So you wanna go and replace all those. Okay, so one problem I found, you can have more than one subtitle track. When you try to turn both of them on, it just immediately turns the other one off. It will not let you have both of them on at the same time, but there is a workaround. You just highlight everything and nest it. And then the captions track for this nested sequence goes inside of that nest. And now you can go in and you can create a, a new style for this subtitle track. And when you are back in here, that style will show up and it'll be different from this subtitle track. So that's a quick workaround, just nesting different sections of your timeline so that you can create different styles of captions. But this is the functionality that I wanna show you guys that is so strong. All right, so let's say you're editing a video on Elon's AI day and you just, 
you remember somewhere in the video he said a certain thing and you don't remember where exactly it was in the video and it's going to take you two hours to watch this whole thing again and scour it for that one word. You might have an idea of where it is, but it's still you could be wrong and it could take a lot of time now with transcriptions. All you have to do is remember that he said that it would be easy to overpower the robot and just type in the word overpower and boom. At a mechanical level, at a physical level, uh, you can run away from it. Um, <laughs> and, and most likely overpower it. <laughs> Great. So now it's taken me straight to the clip that I wanted to find. So that just saved me two hours. Okay, so I'm doing this video a little bit backwards. I have not actually created the montage that you watched up front yet. We're gonna do that together and I'm gonna time myself and see how long it takes. So this is an hour and 20 minute long video clip. Traditionally, you'd have to watch the entire thing. So let's see how much faster than an hour and 20 minutes it takes me to create that supercut. Let's start the clock. Incredible. I go up to this arrow and it tells me there's 18, takes me straight to the next one. And, you know, it, it sets me up a few words in advance of my word. But if you just click on incredible, it takes you right there. You can press D, add an edit. Incredible. Boom. Okay, so what I'm doing now is going through finding each word, clicking on the word incredible, then pressing my shortcut, which is D for add edit, going to the end of the word and pressing D again, rinse and repeat. Now I'm just going through and deleting all the large chunks, which I know are not the word incredible, and then just going through and deleting all the blank spaces in between what's left. So I'm just left with all the words incredible. And now we have our sequence incredible 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 oh that's great all right i know you guys just learned a lot right there and you might be thinking why would i pay for skillshare youtube is free well, finding everything you want to learn on YouTube is kind of like scouring an hour and 20 minute long video for 18 words. Skillshare is way more like auto transcribe. It makes it easy to find exactly what you need and saves you a ton of time. You want to up your thumbnail game? They got that. Photography, painting, Adobe Illustrator, no commercials, no sitting through someone's vlog. There's a community so you can meet people in your industry and read their reviews on the cloud. Classes, writing, producing, lighting, shooting, editing, sound design, graphic design, set design, coding AI, or designing custom jeans, it's all there. The first thousand people to use this link will get a one month free trial of Skillshare. So at least be efficient for a month and see if you like it. Trust me, you will. All right, so as you can see, this completely changes the way you would even think about starting your edit. If you have really long clips of people talking, this is a great way to be able to search through that footage and find everything you need. If you had a lot of separate clips of people talking and you made a master selects sequence and say it's you know 40 minutes or an hour of someone talking but it's a bunch of different clips, you can still then go through and transcribe that sequence for easy searchability later. I'm gonna use this all the time and it's gonna make it easier for me to make videos on presentations like the Apple event and AI day. This is a step in the right direction as far as functionality goes. Right now you have to put things into a sequence and then tell Adobe, hey, transcribe this. What I would love, and this would be a feature request for Adobe, I think there should be one button that you press that just says, hey, look through all my footage, transcribe it all, so that everything in your media bin then becomes searchable by keyword. I'm really excited about voice recognition being integrated with video editing software. I'm looking forward to the day when I can just talk to my editing software and say, hey, organize that like you know I like it. Hey, will you put all that stuff down in sequences and cut out all the dead noise? Or even when it gets so smart, you can say, hey, take all the best takes and put those in a sequence 
and let me see what that looks like. I think that day is rapidly approaching. I did a video on GPT-3, that's OpenAI's voice recognition software. It actually wrote an entire script for me. You can check that out, link in description. With computers getting so smart, it's great to finally see Adobe adding some of that in, but I really hope that it advances fast so that we can just have a nice conversation with our editing software in order to get our videos done. That'd be fun. Anyway, if you guys like this video, don't hesitate to hit that like button, comment, subscribe, fun stuff coming out soon on the channel. I've been working hard on this sizzle reel. It's almost done. And then I can get back to making more near the curve. I know this was a departure from my usual style of video, but I like making these things. Nobody's talking about this. And I thought it was important for uh, some people. I hope that's you. Anyway, thanks for watching. See you in the next one.